I'm now going to move on to, I'm not going to do the top um, fin yet, I'm going to move on to the mouth. And for the mouth, you will want to create a hole at the front of your fish, obviously. And I've made mine quite slim, like this. And then I'm going to use my clay knife and move up and down very carefully just to widen the hole. And you can see that's what my, my mouth looks like right now. And I'm just going to look at it from the side as well and try to create Think about all the angles of a 3D fish. So I want mine to um, have that little muff from the side as well. I'm just checking both sides. Okay. So the reason why we need the mouth to be an actual hole is so that the air, when we put the clay inside the kiln, the air will be able to travel into the clay fish and come back out and that will help with the clay fish not exploding in the kiln and i can guarantee you that it would explode if you didn't create a hole so please don't experiment with that um, it's happened before when students didn't create a hole and or the hole wasn't wide or thick enough and their work unfortunately um, broke in the kiln okay so uh, you'll know when you've gone far enough because you'll will kind of feel the emptiness inside of the fish and now i'm just working on smoothing the edges of the fish mouth and tidying it all up 